What's up, all my party people? It's new, it's improved, it's time. It's Tuesday at 6 o'clock. Yeah, that's right. I said Tuesday. Now, I know y'all are used to seeing me and my beautiful face on Wednesday. For my CP does not define me. But today, today is the world premiere. Da, 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 da. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. Sister Shayna and Brother BJ, get real on wheels talk so every tuesday from now on on facebook live and on sunshine and on wheels and on my cp does not define me in a separate play playlist get real on wheels w-h-e-e-l-z-s talk we're going to talk about anything and everything on this show and i'm going to start out by saying viewer discretion is advised sure is because some of the things we're going to talk about are going to be up there on the SHIP list, to put it on the nice uh, vertebrae of, of, of excellence, as it were. Uh, yeah. Some of the things we're going to talk about, people aren't going to agree with. Some are. <clears throat> we're not on Let Go Radio. We are only on Facebook Live. And we will uh, have these again on Sunshine on Wheels, on My CP Does Not Define Me, the Facebook Like page, and the YouTube page. And again, this will be every Tuesday at 6 o'clock. Why did we decide to do the show? Well, Shana and I sat down, as we do so well, yeah. and we decided to create a brand new show to talk about anything and everything. And as audience members come in and audience members come on, they may want to talk about something and they may post a topic. And we may come over to the comments and say, okay. Um, you know, what are we going to talk about today? If a viewer has a question, we will answer questions. Now, understand, you're going to get straight honesty on this show. This is not going to be, you know, this, this, you know, um, we're not going to, going to sugarcoat anything. It is going to be how it, how it is. Hey, Miss Nikki, thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it. Um, um, no, it's not, no, it's not stopping. This is just another show that I'm doing. My CP is still going on. My CP is uh, does not define me. It's still going on. Please as don't. Well as sunshine on wheels. Still everything is. On. Yep. Everything is still going on as it always does. This is just a new show that we're doing on weeknights at six o'clock, and we're doing this because we want to talk about stuff. Sometimes mm -hmm. we as we as people have stuff we want to talk about. So. One of the reasons I deci we decided to do this is we have so many topics that come up kind of throughout the, the week that aren't necessarily disability related, but can relate to someone with a disability. Mm -hmm. And well, what do we do about it? Why not create, since we've got StreamYard, why not create something that, that people can, can join into? Why not people? And, and I've wanted to create a show with Shana for a while, I'll be honest. She's been she's been a guest on on my CP does not define me numerous times. I love hanging out with her. We're a sounding board for each other. Yes, it, it, it just works. I mean, with um, there's a lot about polymyositis, which is what um, Shana has that a lot of people don't know. There are a lot of questions that come up of how did she do this? How did she start this? Shana's got more going on right now that I can shake a stick at, girl. You got. You got everything everywhere. I, I I don't even know how you do it. You just you just everywhere. I, I I'm so proud of you. You got you got your 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 crocheting and your lip gloss line and then you're working on the sauce line and you Lord Jesus, you just doing it all. Yeah, I, got to. I have to, DJ. I have no choice. Well, and, and and it all started by just the doctor wanting you to keep your hands strong. I mean, oh you, yeah, crocheting. You, yes, mm -hmm. yes. So you you had never you had never crocheted before. Never, never, no not way, at all. no way, never crocheted at all. Four years ago, I've been crocheting now for four years. Mm -hmm. I never, not one time, ever crocheted. Never did nothing with a hook or yarn. No, mm -hmm. nope, not at all. Now, when I was mm -hmm. much younger, teenage years, I had my 
aunt who passed away, she mm -hmm. taught me how to sew and things like that using the sewing machine. Right. But as far as crocheting, never came across it until <clears throat> how we my Osiris came about. You know, believe it or not, um, when I was younger, uh, I would say about between the ages of 12 and 18, I started uh, embroidering, uh, doing okay. the, the cross stitch. Uh -huh. like my mom would draw out a pattern. And uh, mm -hmm. but once I got to the end of the string, she would have to tie the knot in it for me because I couldn't tie the knot. Uh, yeah, you know my fingers wouldn't wouldn't do the work to tie the knot. So I, <clears throat> she would draw a pattern out, and I would uh, embroider it or go, you know, just a simple stitch, you know, yeah. in one way and back through, in one way back through. And I actually enjoyed that, but the latch hook and the and the crochet, I couldn't. Mm -mm, no, no. It's DJ, believe it or not, for me, now that I see how it helped me keep strong <clears throat> with my hands, it is so therapeutic. It is therapy for me. Mm -hmm. And then when I learned that I can burn some calories while doing it, you know these fingers had smoke coming from it. So, yeah, I love it. I love well, it. It's I mean, very it's, I mean, it's a brand of income for you, too. And you got you to gotta make the money. I mean, yeah, honestly, I gotta make that money, honey. Yeah, look, baby. people, and and this is kind of the first topic that we're gonna talk about on the show, and that's just we we deserve to make income just as long just just as well as everybody else. You know, our social security don't 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 do much. I mean, that's you know we gotta pay the rent, pay the bills. Outside of that, that's all we get. You know, so yeah, you gotta make income some way, yeah. and you know. You got Social Security looking so tight at everything and, and, and trying to monetize every dollar you make or, yeah. or, or, you know, restrict every dollar you make that you can only make a certain amount. Sometimes you have to find other ways of doing things, other ways of, of finding income, whether it's crocheting, whether it's um, lip gloss, whether it's creating your own clothing line. Um Shayna has some beautiful talent. I've seen some of the earrings that she's done. I have a hat and scarf that she's done, which was paid for, by the way. Thank you, Andorra. Again, that was yes, a Miss Andorra Brown. Lovely, lovely, lovely gift. But I have seen some of Shayna's work, and you know, just like me, I, I do logos and graphic design on the shine uh, on the and side. And I have some of DJ's work. Yes, yep. yeah, beautiful. And, and, and see, here, here's the thing. So, so kind of going off the first topic. We got to help each other out. You got to realize everybody's going to need some help sometimes. Somebody's yeah. going to need a logo. Somebody's going to need an idea. Somebody's going to need a business card. I do that. Yeah. Shana does crocheting. Shana does uh, 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 design for, for different flyers and things like that. We do a lot of work. And, and again, when you bounce ideas off of each other, it makes it easier. When you have somebody to say, you know, DJ, I don't know how this looks. Uh, when I created Shana's logo, I didn't just create the logo and send it to her. I sat with her for over an hour and designed the logo by hand. A lot of graphic mm -hmm. artists won't do that. All A right. lot of graphic artists will say, what do you want? They will tell them, you know, and then they will design it. I actually sit with each client that I am doing a design for or a logo for, and I say, do you like this? You know, they have... 25 minutes to give me a basis of what they want. Once we talk about the basis of what they want, then we go off of that. Because I can't sit there and just critique it and critique it and critique it. I have to design it, or eventually you're going to sit there for two hours and not get anything done. Mm -hmm. It's just like Shana. Shana picks the color that she's going to do. She designs it. She sends it. And, and she's got to pay for all that. You know, so you look at, you look at, how things work and how things go in the world today, especially with income, it's not easy. It's not easy to make the almighty buck. Uh, people talk about investing. Investing is a good idea, but it's also a risk as well. And the bigger the risk, the higher the reward. But if you flip it around, the bigger the reward, the bigger the risk. So you've got to look at exactly what you're willing to go through mm -hmm. to make your money. It's some it works for some people, and it doesn't. It may not work. work for others, yeah. Just like with with um, with um, martial arts, you know, I've been studying martial arts eleven years, and I had a student that was in a wheelchair. I was training him at Tiger when I was when I was formerly there, 
And all of a sudden he said, okay, uh, will you train me at the house? I set up, set up a, a, a contract with him. I set up a payment plan with him four Saturdays in a row. I moved my house around so that he could get by. He didn't show up. Mm. Here's the thing. By the third time I said, look, uh, I'm not doing that anymore. You show up, we work. You don't show up, we don't work. Mm -hmm. I said, because people don't think about the time that it takes to, to set do. all this stuff up. Mm -hmm. When you get ready to, to um, instruct someone in martial arts, I get dressed. I put on my gi, my jacket, my gear. I move things around in my living room, move my chair so that, you know, other people have room to get in. All of that thing, all of those things take time. And that's what it's about. Your time is important, and you have to remember to when you're <clears throat> when you're making something or you're doing something that you're that you're doing for someone. Your time needs to be included. Mm -hmm. Crocheting is labor intensive, very labor intensive, and it takes a long time to do those types of things. And Shana, of course, you know you've been doing it like you said for four years. Yeah, but it. it, it, it to me, it you have to map things out. It does in life whether you're doing something or not. And I look at it as you don't work harder; you just work smarter mm -hmm. to make things much easier for yourself. So with crocheting, if I could find a way that I can do something and it will maybe cut down time, but yet it still has great quality to work then that's what I do. I sit back and I draw things up before going about doing it. Mm -hmm. Or I sit back and I work out uh, just a little section of it to see how I want it to look before right. actually doing it. So then that way I got everything I need. I know what hook I'm going to be using. I know what yarn I'm going to be using. And it makes it a whole lot easier. And well, and, and two, you're coming up with a plan before you're just sitting down yeah. starting to do something. You have an idea of what you want to do. You're mm -hmm. putting action behind it, and then you're going with it. Now, with the summer, you know, fall and summer coming back up, I know that hats and scarves are kind of kind of going out for right now. Yeah. What about handbags and stuff like that? Have you have you done the the crocheting handbags? Well, what uh, well, what some do not know is that I'm actually working on a line of bags that we could use to set on the side of our wheelchair mm -hmm. on the armrest mm -hmm. because I noticed that, especially with me, I'm not too sure about everyone else, but when I'm out and about, I don't have time for nothing, no bag or anything to hold me, be holding me down, especially yeah. if I don't have to have important things in there like my ID, my debit card. Mm. I'll put a fanny pack on and have that important stuff close to me. Right. But what if right. now we have to have hand sanitizer when we go out. Now we have to wear masks while we're out and about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You you gotta be able to find somewhere to put those things that will be easy contact to. So what better way than having a crocheted bag that you could set on the side of your wheelchair? Well, and, and and the good part about that is the crochet bags are light. A lot mm -hmm. of the, a lot of the bags that they that they make that go on the side of wheelchairs they cost, mm -hmm. and they're not as effective as effective as you want them to be because you're reaching down trying to find mm -hmm. unzip and unmove and all this. I want a bag that I can stick right here on the side of my side of my hip or the side of my chair, pull it out when I need it because I carry my pouch everywhere I go. But <clears throat> sooner or later, the pouches get worn out. Yeah, and you can only put so much. Right, right. Yeah. So, so that's what I'm working on. <clears throat> so how is the how is the lip gloss line coming now? You working with that? What's what's yes. going on with that? Okay, well, right now I did start out. I uh, everything is very organic and healthy wise is very beneficial those supplies mm -hmm. i have one set of lip gloss which is made with coconut oil vitamin e oil castor oils and i have another one which is made with grape seed oil vitamin e oils and castor oil because you may have some people that's allergic to coconut mm -hmm. so i want to be able to provide those two different choices which is clear those are clear, and then I have some that are scented, which the scents are green apple and pineapple. 
And then next month, I will be going into more detail by adding colors to my lip glosses. So you do have the flavors, which was my, my next question. How, what mm -hmm. made you come up with um, those flavors? I mean, are you just... Are you starting out with two? Are you looking to have more? Or? Well, I have actually a total of 24 different flavors. Woo, so amazing. I'm going to be adding on, you know, bit by bit. Yeah. Okay. So a total of 24 mm -hmm. different flavors that I'll be coming out with uh, from over oh, from time to time. And then also, like I said, I'm getting into color wise. So I want the lips to be popping. I don't just want them clear and shiny. Right, right, I want them right. to have color. Um, so, yeah. Right. What made you start on, or what made you decide to do the lip gloss line? When did when did you decide to come up with that? I've decided to do lip gloss, what, last year, September of last year. Mm -hmm. So what I did from September up until November, I made up a business plan. I wrote things down, everything that I was going to need. I studied things. I studied all the supplies and things that I was going to need. I studied the pricing and what I'm going to charge. So I did all of that studying and then I got right down to it and made March the big day. Mm -hmm. Well, sorry, the big month to premiere it, to do it. How did you, um, how did you like work out your time? Because I know when you get a lot of things going on at one, one time. I know a lot of people can feel kind of overwhelmed when they've mm -hmm. got, you know, this going on and then school going on because you've got, you've got school coming up too. Oh, yes. Well, I've actually already finished college mm -hmm. and have my degree, but now I have to work on my certification. So I'm doing yeah. some tutoring courses to refresh mm -hmm. myself, but I take my exams, my state exams, October of this year. Mm -hmm. So you, oh. you, you got to prioritize, get that calendar out. Yeah. You, you got to make sure that you've got time to study. You've got to yeah. make sure that, you know, your, your crochet line is good. You got to make sure the lip gloss, mm -hmm. lip gloss line is good. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I love um, the, your, your thoughts for your blog. You know, I've read a lot of, I go through and I read a lot of your thoughts just, and, and, you know, some of y'all may know, some of y'all may not, Shane and I think along the same lines on <laughs> um we a, a couple times you know we'll we'll talk to each other off air and say you know I was just thinking about this yes and then Shana will say oh hold on let me get my notebook because I just thought about this and I want to write this down mm -hmm. having a little notebook is a really good idea for those spontaneous ideas because once you get a pen to paper and once you get the idea on on you know paper and you're able to read it then it starts becoming a reality. You can yeah. put things forward to get it into motion because the key is you want to get the object into motion, whatever you want to do. That's just like my, my music. Um, you know, when I started, mm -hmm. I've been writing music since I was eight years old. Um, I probably have 200 to 500 songs written wow. just on a, you know, just that I've gone through with words and poems and things like that. And, a lot of people don't know I rap. I've done a lot of that. And mm -hmm. I did that in I did that in middle school when I started and I was in chorus all the way through high school, all the way through middle school, all the way through elementary school. Music was something that made me feel important. Music, I could I could relate to things, mm -hmm. I could explain things. Poetry was another one. I have probably close to a thousand poems wow. written. I've got you know, four notebooks full of poems. And, and it, mm -hmm. I, I realized very early that music was something that I wanted to do, but I wanted to do it aside from um, a competition setting. So yeah. in 2001, I basically, for the first time, went to my church and said, I'd like to do two songs, want to put them on. Um, you know, CD and get them out there. Well, mm -hmm. I did Bow Your Head and Pray and Promises to Keep were the two two songs that I had first ever recorded. And they weren't, I didn't have an agent at the time. I didn't have, you know, any of that. And I didn't have a studio and all this stuff. So it, it was good and it was fun. And I went, okay, you know, and so from 2001 to, to now, I'm like, man, I really want to, how do I get into a studio? And then I met Steve, my friend Steve, and we started training together in karate. And the funny part about it was 
when he started playing guitar, he told me he had a studio, and I'm like, there you go. And once we got, you know, figured each other out and figured how each other worked, we realized that we had a lot in common music wise. And I started going over his house and we started, and we just, we just now just finished this Sunday, just finished laying down three tracks with harmony and, mm. and everything, uh, background vocals, uh -huh. keyboards, still drums, piano. We did like the whole, it took us two and a half hours to finish one song. But by the time, by the time we finished it, we went, oh my God, this is exactly what we wanted. And, you know, talking about being able to bounce things off each other, there's not a lot of people that know, you know, what I'm doing behind the scenes. I've shared very, very little of my music with very few people because it's important. It's from my you know, it comes from my soul. If I don't feel it, I can't do it. I, yeah. If I don't feel the music, I can't do it. Mm -hmm. And the most amazing thing is in the past year and a half, um, Stephen and I have written 40 songs together. I come up with the lyrics and he comes up with the music. And then we come together on how we want to present it. And mm. it's just like one of the songs I'm writing now. Uh, that, that's what life is all about. It started out as... A guitar a guitar part and it was a great song i was happy with it you know and i was really excited and we laid it down and then he called me one night and he said dj listen to this and it was a piano version of the song and i went oh my god that's it that's it you know and and mm -hmm. when he played it it was not just good it was out of this world, holy crap, how in the world did you play that? That was perfect. You came up with that. Oh my God, we have to get this out. And it, it when it when it's when it's a real hit, when it when it's something that you want, something that you care about, it sticks. It doesn't just stay there for a day and then go away. It's no. it, it's there. So You're stuck. It's it's something that you have to do. So we worked from uh, about um one o'clock Saturday to probably about 10 o'clock at night mm. on, on three songs. And we got them done and it was just, it was relaxing and fun and energetic. And, and we laughed. We you look happy about it now, sharing. You look yeah. so, you, you look like it, it's very joyous. You, you look like you're happy. Well, and, and I've been happy for a long time, but now mm -hmm. to hear it the way it, it needed to be, that's kind of uh, the whole thing about this. You know, to, to listen to the music now and go, wow, that's me. I mean, I harmonize with myself. Mm -hmm. And you lay a track down where you're harmonizing with yourself and you're going, dude, that that's, that's really good. Like, you know, I'm not... I'm not just trying to brag and say my music is good, but it's good. I mean, I'm not going to put something out mm -hmm. unless it it it's the best that I can put out. Yeah. Whether it's, you know, my CP, whether it's my music, I mean, it's there's a lot of a lot of things involved and I know Shane is the same way. Shane they can't way. have stop it. No have stop it. No, you can't. You can't. And I think that's what that's what makes this so energetic for me is mm -hmm. that these, these songs that I've done, you know, I was so frustrated Friday. I was like, I think it was Thursday. I was uh, Thursday evening. I was sitting there and I just had my hands on my forehead and all these thoughts were just coming out. So I, I, I pulled up a freestyle beat and I, I, I literally, I, I did a recording. And I sent the recording to Shayna mm -hmm. and Christina. I literally, and Christina heard it and she's like, oh my God. Yeah. She's like, oh, she's, wow. like, she's like, wait a minute. That was off the top of your head. Because in the, in the song, I said, these lyrics are off the top of my head and I'll never do them again. And I rhymed it because I see, I don't, I don't write any of my raps down. They're straight freestyles that come off the top of my head. They always have been because when you write them down, 
then you have to work with them. See, I just want the thoughts to come out. I want the thoughts to come out to music and then that be it. it yeah. I don't want to go back and relive the thought because the thought is is where it was. You know, right. what I mean? does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. You don't want to leave, you want to leave it as is, untouched. And and that's the way I've always done my freestyles with rapping. And they're like, I've I've had people go, dude, you're white. How do you flow like that? Like, I'm like. I, re I remember the first time I sat down and, and actually flowed in, I, you know, I, I, I grew, I've grown up around African-American people. I don't see black. I don't see white. I never have. I just see people. And that's just the way that I am. That's the way that I've always been. Mm -hmm. And the funny part of it, when I was growing up, there were only three Caucasian individuals in our classroom. That didn't bother me. So the guys were in the back flowing and they were, you know, the guy was beatboxing and I'm like, drop that again. And he, he dropped the beat and, I, and he's like, at the end, you know, the mouth is open. He's like, dude, well, yeah. dude, did you just, I like, yeah. And he's like, but you spit that off the top of your head without thinking. And, and he, he kind of asked me, he said, dude, you know, and it, when I when I first got into music and I realized that I was passionate about it, I didn't even know how passionate I was at the time. Mm -hmm. Because it, then we started the group. And then when we started the group, we started singing together. And I'm like, I want to do this. But see, here's the thing. You find the group, then you got to find the guys that are, that are, that are, uh, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Very, um. What? Oh, they're there all the time. They're dependable. Uh, yes, I could. You want to find that dependable group that you want, and you want to find those guys are not going to be late to practice. And I remember it's serious like you do. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember mm -hmm. when we when we when we established the group back in the day in in in, in sixth grade. You know, yeah. I'm like, this is it. You know, this is me. We, you know, from sixth to eighth grade. You know, I didn't realize how serious about music I was until I got in high school. We had a we had an after school program and my mom came to pick me up. I'm like, Mom, can you come back in like four hours? <laughs> She's like, Four hours? That's gonna be ten o'clock. I'm like, Mom, can you come back in four hours? And she looked at me and she's like, and one of my friends was like, I'll bring him home. Is it okay if I bring him home? So so here's the thing. We we sang for four hours after we had been singing for an hour and a half in class. And we went, yeah, th this is what we want. Mm -hmm. so, so establishing what you want. Yeah. But being passionate about what yeah. you want it, it, mm -hmm. it is two totally different things. And I think, you know, I, I've, I enjoy doing talk shows. I enjoy making mm -hmm. people laugh. Me too. I was surprised at myself. I actually look forward to doing Sunshine on Wheels on Saturday. I look forward to them. Well, and again, you know, we kind of talked about this a little bit off and on, you know, every week. You research with your guest and you always, you always dig in a little bit more because mm -hmm. you have your notes and you know what people are about and you know, but I mean, I mean, just like our CP group that we have on on Fridays, you know, the funny part about it is, I find myself, you know, I found myself telling them that that I was going to be going to to do music this weekend, and I said it so many times. I'm like, man, it's getting closer, and I'm getting ready to go through this thing, you know. And then, and then Saturday got here. Hey Kim, um, you know everybody, and and then the phone got clicked to silent. And when that phone got clicked to silent, yeah, you know, the, vision, got, yeah. the vision was there, man. And and the music, when these, when these songs come out, and, and I'm not going to, I've only shared them. I haven't even shared them with Shana yet because they haven't come out. Yeah. I haven't gotten the emails of the, of the finished product, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm going to share them with, with very few people. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people have said, I want a free copy of the CD. I want a free copy of the CD. I'm like, look, I want to understand everybody wants a copy of the CD. 
Not for free. No, I said this music's gonna be online and it's gonna be on a CD. So here's how it's going. I, mm-hmm. I, I, you know, I, I don't mind giving away a few copies. I mean, this. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do because nothing free. Everything costs. Now, what you can do is sign them for, you can sign the CD, but hold up. They got to pump their brakes because, oh, no, that ain't how we roll. Well, see, and, and I thought about that. And, and But, but you know, when I was doing these before the, the this ever happened, a lot of people would ask me, you know, when you make it big, you know, don't forget me. And, and see, here, here's what I'm going, You're not doing that. Not and see, here, here's what people I want people to know about me. I'm not a person to forget who I know. And I'm very much what you see is what you get. It's yeah. on my profile, and, I, and I, I wear my heart on my sleeve. So when and if I make it big and God gives me the blessing of, of, of going on tour and performing in front of thousands of people, and do I want it? Yeah. There's a smile there. I want it because it's and ain't nothing wrong with admitting that. And, and, and but but see, but I never forget those that supported me. Yeah. When I was when I was not the big star, you know, yeah. you know before before we had you know three talk shows before we had Facebook pages and YouTube and Instagram and all this. This is about. I think there comes a time in life. You got to realize who you are before mm-hmm. you before you ever get where you're going. Who you are and whose you are. Yes, mm-hmm. I, I told you know I told I told Christina and I told Shana and I told Kyle and I told quite a few people mm-hmm. you're gonna get a copy of the CD. Okay, I'll pay for mine, but you got to sign it, sir. You you know I got you, sis. Yes, you know I got make you. Sure you sign it. Sign it. I'll but, pay, but make sure you sign it. And, and see, I don't just I don't just mail my CDs out. I hand deliver them. When I when I give a CD, I don't mail it. Mm-hmm. I don't put it in the mail because it could get damaged in shipping. I I make it and I make it myself. You know, we 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 do what we have to do to burn them and get them. You know, because mm-hmm. we're paying the copyright fee for these. To copyright ten songs is eighty five dollars. That's $85 for 10 songs. I've got 50, okay? And I got a copyright every single one of them bitches from 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 1 to 50. Cuz if I don't, not saying anybody would, but they can take them. You be surprised. Mm-hmm. That means they take your music, that means they take your words. They can change it up and put their own stuff. I'm not what I'm not what I'm not with my music you can't. No, work too hard. No, work too and hard. I, and I think that's that's what people forget. The work that people put in. Yeah. Yeah. And, and see for 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 Shana, I don't think I don't think Sunshine on Wheels is just a brand. It it's become Shana. Yeah. I, you know, I I, I that's that's why I like you know everything that Shana does. She reflects back to you know who she is and and you know it's just never forget you can't forget. Well, you you can't see, and that's the thing. I I, I thought I I have dreamed and I've had dreams of of being big and and hey hey Mika how you doing sweetheart. Um, I've had dreams of being big. I'll get to your comments in just a minute, guys. I, I hadn't forgotten about you. But it's more its more than being big to me. You know, I want to, my, I want my music to help people, you know, mm. and kind of the, 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 what I'm running into right now is everybody like, DJ, you a funny dude, man. You need to do a funny CD. So I'm trying to decide, am I going to do a parody, you know, a parody CD first of funny stuff, or am I going to do serious stuff? And Christina was like, well, no, you know, can't you do both? And that's hard to do because on a CD, a CD has a theme and you have to kind of follow that. Stick with um, it. Um, that theme. Yeah. You got to follow that theme. Mm-hmm. And, and it's, it's funny because if you look at life, if you look at it as a whole, 
if you send out a funny CD or a CD with funny songs on it, you have to be careful because you're going to get labeled as the guy that does funny stuff. Um, I mean, I mean, you look at Rodney Carrington, you look at uh, Weird Al, you look at um, oh gosh, Cletus T. Judd, the the country music star that does all the funny mm -hmm. parodies. Jeff Foxworthy's another one. You know, Cletus T. Judd also recorded a very, very, very powerful song called Funny Man that talked about his life and not just not just the funny things that he recorded. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I, I really, I mean, I have, and, and again, I have a price set in mind for, for what my CD is going to be. Um I, you know, and, and I've always had that in mind, but it's not because of the money that I want to make. It's when the people look at my CD and know that our work has gone into this CD because Steve puts as much work, if not more, mm -hmm. than I do because he's playing the piano, he's playing the guitar, he's helping mix everything, he's teaching me how to do it because... I was in radio broadcasting and learned how to do learn how to do all that, but that's been, you know, fifteen years ago. I've yeah. been out of school for almost almost eleven years now. I was uh, well, gosh, no, hold on now. Wait a minute, I graduated in two thousand one, so nineteen years. Yeah. I've been out of school. I mean, so you've got to go back and 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 relive a lot of that and relearn a lot of that and get back into it. So now. You know, I, I look at my life and I'm just, so, I'm, I'm, I'm so thankful. Um, and, and iTunes is going to be one. Yes, I'm going to be on iTunes. I'm going to be on Spotify. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be on uh, Let Go Radio, hopefully. Uh, I'm going to be on, you know, qu quite a few. But, yeah. you know, it all depends on what God, you know, how God wants to, to let it out and how, how God wants to let it go. I'm just happy that I have the opportunity to do this. Do yeah. And I love, I love when people hear my music for the first time. Uh, we, we debuted a song called uh, uh, I've got CP and it's, it's hilarious. And uh, I, I sent it to my best friend from sixth grade and she was just dying laughing. Um, and it's so funny because I pulled it right off the press, like right fresh off. And she's, Next thing I know, she's listening to it. Then her best friend's <laughs> listening to it. Then her husband's listening to it. And there's six out six people out there laughing. I'm going, <laughs> wow, that fast. You know, See? It, it really when you when you hit that note and when you hit that 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 vein where everybody, you know, gets your music and, and people can relate. Mm -hmm. you know, we have enough to cry about with disabilities. We have enough to worry about with disabilities. Sometimes mm -hmm. in life, you got to laugh. Yeah. But my motivation behind my music is just to, to, to bring a realness that that is there. All right. Go ahead and talk, Shane. I'm going to get some of these comments out here. I, I, I know. Oh, no. I was going to say, let's hear some of the comments. Let's talk to the people. All right. So I talked about this one already, but my CP not, does not define me. It's still going on. Uh, uh, Cindy says, hello. Hello, Cindy. Um, hello. Nikki, and Nikki says, good luck, Shana, with everything. Love you, Nikki. Mm -hmm. Kimberly says, hello. Hello. Kimberly says, agreed. Uh you will see Jed says you were your own best friend. That's true. Mm -hmm. Kimberly says, so I'll meet my sweet part and my sweetheart in person. I love this. Uh-huh. And to pay as well. And I'll pay as well. Thank y'all very much. Um, Shamika says, Hey fam. Hello. And Nikki said, you said a couple of years ago, drop the tea and get it done. Um, yeah, that's very true. I sure did. Um, <clears throat> Ben said it should, if you sign it, it should be 15 to 20. And Shamika said, let me know when you're on iTunes. So, you know, and as, and as these things come out, you know, we will be sure to, to let you guys know. So 
I, you know, if you guys have any, I'll be a backup dancer for DJ, y'all. I'm gonna be the backup dancer. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna drop it like it's hot, but I'm being a cheer though. But I'm gonna be a backup dancer for DJ. Don't 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 drop it, Shana, because if you drop it, I can't make down to pick it up. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> oh, I'm sitting in the chair, and I'm gonna be the back. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna be the. Oh, I'm gonna be the dancer. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll do the choreography. Yeah. Oh, uh, um. We got to figure out our hardest thing that we're trying to figure out right now is what we're going to do for the CD cover. Uh Um, You know, how we're going to do it. But yeah, we're talking about it. So I don't know. What's on your mind, Shana? What you want to discuss? Oh, wow. You know what? She's so much I want to talk about, but where do I begin? Uh, Let's DJ, let's talk about something that a lot of people don't like to talk about. Well, maybe they do, but they just don't. Let's talk about judgment. You know, judgmental people. Okay. Yeah. It's 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 like it's really sticking to me. And it's like for the love of God, for the love of Christ. Why do these people have to be so freaking judgmental? Um, I, I would the, the biggest thing I would say off of you know, right off the cuff is fear. You know, people people fear what they don't understand. Um, and when it comes to, when it comes to God and things like that, people get worried and people get scared when they see something that is bigger than themselves. And for a lot of this, I think, I think people as a whole, you know, there's so much in this world that, that, that holds us down. You know, there, there's not a lot of people that, that lift us up. So if you have the support system and if you have, you know, all of the, you know, all of the things that you want and you look at it and you say, you know, a lot of people will ask the question, how can there be a God? How can God be everywhere? How can, you know, people are looking for proof, you know, and I, and I can only, the way I would respond to that in, in not so much in judgment, but before you look at anybody else, Take a look in the mirror at yourself. Mm-hmm. And if you want to pass judgment, pass judgment on yourself first. Mm-hmm. People in glass houses shouldn't be throwing no stones. Fear that's that's true, Shamika. Fear of the unknown. Yeah, I, you know, I, I, I look at I Ooh. look at where that's I'm, a good one, Shamika. Fear mm-hmm. of the unknown. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. like that. Sorry, DJ. Go ahead on. No, no, no. I I agree with you hundred percent. And and Shamika, now that's that's one person I can tell you. She is a God fearing lady, and she knows that what God has done for her. And and it, it it you know it took me a long time to realize how powerful God was and how awesome God is. You know, in, yeah. in, my, in my first thirteen years, in my first twelve years of life, I was I was against everything that God stood for because. My mindset was, God, what, how could you do this to me? Why would you allow this to happen? You know, someone passes away, and the first question they ask is, God, why did you take them away from me? Or why did why did they have to go? Why couldn't they stay just a little bit longer? But look at the legacy that they left. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. yeah. And, and, and the fun, the funny part about it is that that, that I look at, you know, in in being. You know, I'm not a preacher, you know, I'm not, you know, I, at least as of right now, unless, you know, God bestows upon me something that, that he bestows upon me. And if he gives it to me, I'll accept it with open arms. But I've learned one thing. If we put limitations on ourselves, we're going to put limitations on God. And you you can't, you can't do that. Yeah. Um, I think that we are so, there are so many people in this world that are box thinkers. And they don't see that they don't step back and see the large picture of what they're really looking at. And, and I'm not trying to, to, to judge anybody. Okay. Because I myself have been a box thinker for a very long time. Me too. It took me a very long time to break out of that box and mm-hmm. to realize, well, you know what? You don't have to just work one thing. You don't have to just have one view No. Step back and look at, um, step back and look at what you're really doing, you know, and, and 
you know, for, for example, the shows that we do, I was told that I'm an inspiration for so long that it just became just a word to me mm -hmm. until I saw a room full of people crying when I spoke. That's when you touch somebody with a message, when you give somebody something to hold on to, when you give someone hope and you allow someone to see their faith again and to learn that it's okay to, to crack and to crumble and to mm -hmm. hit rock bottom. Because when you hit rock bottom, you have nowhere to go but up. Yeah, nowhere but up. That, and 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 I'm not again. I'm not trying to be you know TD Jakes. I'm just I'm just DJ Carter. Just let me know. I love TD Jakes because I, I and the reason I say that is because TD Jakes said something that I'll never forget. Sometimes you have to walk through it to understand it. Mm -hmm. And and this is one of the things that. Yep. I love about what God has done for me and what God has taught me. You can't understand what a person is truly going through until you Unless rolled you or walked. Yeah. Until you rolled or walked a mile in your shoes. Yeah. And you see people saying that, you know, judgmental people saying they get it when they really don't. But what they're trying to do is be empathetic. Instead of saying, I understand what you're going through. Be honest and say, you know what? I really wish I knew what you were going to uh -huh. True, true, yeah. So if you want to know something, ask. ask. That's another way to get out of judgment. Ask. I think people in this world are afraid to ask questions about what they don't understand because it makes them feel inferior. Let me explain something, folks. The only way you're going to get an answer to a question is to ask the question itself. Mm -hmm. And before you ask it, somebody else is thinking the same thing. Yeah. Whether you realize it or not, I had no idea what polymyositis was. Shannon yeah. said polymyositis. And I said, huh? Look, I couldn't even say it the first 10 times she said it. I the poly money, but poly money, whatever. Poly, I can't, I can't say that. But as she, you know, when you start doing 20, 30, 40 shows and you start realizing what polymyositis is and what cerebral palsy is and how it affects you and what happens on a day to day basis, where some days you don't want to get out of bed. It's not that mm. you don't want to get out of bed. It's that you can't because mm. your muscles lock up and say, uh-uh, today ain't not working. Today. That, and, 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 and that's something that people have to understand. Sometimes in order not to be judgmental, in order not to go over that line to where you start judging somebody, you have to take it a day by day, sometimes an hour by hour. Sometimes you got to take it minute by minute, but you want to know one piece of advice to 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 really think and and make you not become judgmental. Mm -hmm. Think before you speak. Mm -hmm. Think before you speak. That's all you got to do. You just have to think. That's it, all. It, it, it's not hard. Judgment. You know, we all judge. I've done it. See the person on the side of the corner eating twelve donuts. Uh huh. Look at them eating twelve donuts over there, over there, the Krispy Kreme. You know you got twelve boxes in your car. Well, that sounds good. I want a Krispy Kreme donut. Well, well, I'm on this diet, girl. Don't get talking about Krispy Kreme over there. I know I brought it up, but you should have done that. But, but I shouldn't. I know. I know. I'm bad, bad, mm, bad, bad to the bone. But talking about judgment, women, women are are such critical judgment. Judge judges of themselves. I'm to this. I'm yes. To this. Yes. Look in the mirror and see beauty and stop seeing what you wish you had. Yeah. And be glad that you have what you have. <laughs> I that, love my big head. I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you what. You know, I, I, I don't. It bothers me most, most of all. To, to see a woman ridicule herself. Yes. And say, I'm not skinny enough. Yes. I don't look good in this bikini. Yeah. I, 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 I don't. 
mind a skinny woman. I don't mind a plus size woman. I don't mind the in between woman that's got a little bit more than I got. All that is is more to love to me. Now, I can say that, but I can also truly mean it because I'm not here to say, oh, Lord, Jesus, I don't, I don't want to be part of that. Um, it's just, you know, it's just that type of thing where y- you've got to try to, to have it and just, you know, be more to love somebody instead of judging them. Um, I, and, and honestly, I don't know, you know, why, you know, that would happen or, or why someone would judge someone based on the way they look. I mean, because that's, society does that, but we as people have to learn not to do it. Shane, I hope we didn't lose you. Um, I don't know where you went to girl, but we'll give you a minute to get back in here. Um, let me see what happened. Hold on, Shana. Where'd you go? Let me let me remove. Um, oh, there you go. Okay. I had to use the restroom, DJ. Oh, okay. Okay. I can't hold it. Woo. I got you. I got you. Yeah. But I'm back. All right. Um, but uh anyway, we good. Um <laughs> so See, you never know what you're gonna get with this show, you guys. Sometimes uh, hey, you gotta hey, go. Look, sometimes you gotta let it flow. That's all yeah, it if it ain't paying no rent, you gotta let it go. <laughs> if it but ain't out, up no pots, you gotta but, let it go. But out and in, I always say that's it. I just whoo Lord Jesus. Okay, so DJ, I have something else I want to talk about now. Okay, all right. Oh my goodness. Okay, being in a relationship while living with a disability, mm. I how how is it from your point of view? Because I haven't mm. I haven't done it yet. Um, all is right. it hard? Is it what? Let me let me let me back up a minute. Let me let me close out judgment real quick. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the only way we're going to stop judging people is to take a good long look at ourselves. Yeah, that's true. And you have to learn to love yourself before you can love anybody else. Mm-hmm. And you have to learn to judge yourself before you can judge anybody else. Love yourself, your flaws and all. Hey, I have a big head. I'm proud of it. I just tell people that I'm smarter. That's why my head's so big. Look, 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 all that brain in there, they got to have something to hold it. I mean. You, know, it. you, you know, you get yeah. it, you know. You understand? She, Cindy said you can only hold it for so long. <laughs> That's right. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Oh my yeah. god! I'm gonna tell you, girl. Mm, 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 mm. But uh, you know, the relationship part, and, and, and we kind of we're going on an hour. Uh, just to let you guys know, some of these might be sixty minutes, some of these might be ninety minutes. We're not sure how long we're gonna go each show. We're gonna try to try to keep it in there, but. Relationship-wise, I'm going to say this. Um, No relationship is simple. Every relationship is compromise, Mm -hmm. communication. And sometimes you get it from one side. Sometimes you get it from both sides. Sometimes you get it from no sides, and you end up busting each other in the head with plastic baseball bats in therapy. Oh, okay. Okay. I I mean, I'm just... Look, at least the bats are plastic. I'm I, just saying. I, at least they're plastic. <laughs> She's at least they're plastic. I have dated all sorts of people. Mm-hmm. I have dated what you would call crazy. I've dated what you would call psychotic. Oh, I've, well, at least you know it. But you know what? To be honest, um, I've been married. We've been married now. It'll it'll be six years in uh, in September, mm-hmm. and it's hard. It's yeah, hard. yeah. Don't let anybody tell you marriage ain't easy. It's Our work. Marriage, marriage is easy because it's not. I mean, it's working. Everything that you do, even if you're in a relationship and not even married yet, it's still work. Whether so you, I've been told. You I haven't put the words right out of my mouth. Whether you're in a relationship or whether you're in 
a marriage. Mm -hmm. It does not matter because you have to communicate, mm -hmm. compromise, mm -hmm. and understand. Mm -hmm. Those are the three things in a relationship that makes a relationship work. And I will tell you the top three problems that we're going to cover on next week's show. We're going to cover this on next week's show. Communication, mm. money, mm -hmm. and sex. Those are the top three problems that relationships and marriages face. Well, guess what, guys? I ain't having none of them problems, I guess, because I ain't got no man. <laughs> but I'll add in my two cents any way I can. But see, now, now I will I will say this before we before we close tonight. We might go a little bit more, but here's the thing. Shana is very much a realist. She calls what she sees. She don't play and she don't take a lot of bullshit. Sure and, don't. I got no time. And and I'm the same way. When we have something that we want to talk about, I'll call her, she'll call me, mm -hmm. and she'll know right from the first part of the conversation, is, he, is this going to be one of these where, <laughs> oh, man, I just need to tell him to breathe, or is this going to be where, you know, is it going to be funny, is it going to be serious? I don't have time for for for, for immaturity. And, and you know what, DJ, I got to add on to this. Because one, I've learned that first you have to know, like you say, love yourself. You got to know yourself before you step out there and mm. start something new with someone else. Mm. And you know, you don't want to bring baggage from something old into something new. Yeah, that's true. But to be honest with you, I think the reason why I am single, this may not go for a lot of people, but it's just me. The reasons with an S I why I am single is because mm. one, I had to get to know me mm -hmm. too. I have to take I have to take in my children and put them first, you know, for right now mm -hmm. until you know they grown and on their own and up out of the house. But most importantly, I wanted to know what it's like to live with Shana while having a disability. And and you said a mouthful right there. And a lot of this, like I said, when we get into next week's show next Tuesday at six o'clock. We're going to hit a lot of these notes. Um, and I better years. write this stuff down yeah, so I can you, remember it. You want to jot these down kind of while, while you know, I, I talked just a little bit about it. Mm -hmm. I think figuring out you is very important. Yeah. I think before anyone gets into a, any kind of relationship, whether it's a marriage, whether it's dating, you have to be careful what you share. Mm -hmm. Okay, because sharing too much too fast, mm -hmm. you, can, you can break yourself down and you can break the other person down because it's overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Number two, people are sometimes scared because of disability and they don't know how to address it. Mm -hmm. This is where I said the number one thing in a relationship is communication. You have got to be able to talk about things, whether it's the disability that you have, the disability that they have. You have to sit down and talk about it. In mm -hmm. detail. So we're going to, if you want to jot these down, Shana, we're going to talk about four things on next week's show. So it's not three anymore. It's four. It's four. It's going to okay. be four. So we're going to, we're going to talk about the top three, the top three things that causes marriage, uh, marriage and relationships to break down. Okay. And that's going to be, Communication, sex, and money. Mm -hmm. Okay. That then we're going to talk about relationship with a disability. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about uh, sharing too much too fast. Okay. And then we're going to talk about something that not a lot of people talk about. And that's settling or staying too long in a relationship when you don't have to. Yeah. And that's going to be something that we're going to cover next week. We're going to take these four topics and we're going to cover them. We're going to break it down into a, I haven't done a relationship show in a long time. Well, can we just first start off with communication for next week? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And then after that week, then we'll talk about sex and then, and money, yeah. Well, I, I think, I think, no, no, no. And, and the reason I said a lot of people don't realize 
it, it, though, when we talked about, when I say those are the top three things mm -hmm. that break a marriage down, I'm not saying I'm just going to rush through them. I'm just saying it, it's going to be this, this relationship thing is going to be a little bit of a series. So what we're talking about is these four things that we put down, not to mention the communication, sex, and money. Communication will break a relationship down fastest if it's not there. Yeah. Because when you don't communicate, you assume. And assumptions will destroy everything you have before it even it, it even gets it even gets going. So we'll start out next week with communication and we'll talk about some of the topics that we talked about tonight. Mm -hmm. You guys join us. It's gonna be on YouTube. My CP does not define me under the playlist. Uh, get real with Will's talk with Shana and DJ Carter, DJ and Shana, however you want to say it. It'll be live on Sunshine on Will's and uh, Facebook with DJ Carter and also on uh, the My CP Does Not Define Me like page as well. Um, Shana, how can we reach you on uh, social media? Hey, you can reach me on Facebook at Shana Thomas, Sunshine on Will's, Instagram, uh, Miss Sunshine 0428, Sunshine on Wheels. Oh, if you want to check out my crochet items on Facebook at Get Crocheted by Shayna, check me out on Instagram at Get It Made by Shayna. Also, my lip gloss line, Spark a Kiss, on Instagram as well. Uh, let's see if you want to be a guest on my show, Sunshine on Wheels, email me at sunshine on wheels at gmail.com don't forget to check me out on my wix site at sunshine on wheels where i just share my thoughts i think that's all i'm gonna leave you with today all right guys you can reach me at dj carter on facebook you can reach me at my cp does not define me on youtube you can reach me at Char chairmaster games on youtube and you can reach me at Worth the Weight Cooking with DJ Carter on YouTube. You can reach me on Instagram at my CP does not define me. You can reach me on my blog at CarterDJ85 at Wix.com. You can also uh, reach me on Twitter at my CP does not define me at Minion Sports. So you guys, if you want to be a guest on my CP does not define me, please email me at carterdj85 at gmail.com. If you'd like to be a guest on our show, uh, get real on Wheels Talk with DJ and Shana or Shana and DJ. Please, please email me there or email Shana at the email she gave you. Mm -hmm. Let us know if you'd like to talk with us and come and be a guest. Again, we, we are here every Tuesday uh, at 6 p.m. on Facebook Live and on YouTube where we get real with the issues on Wheels Talk. We'll see you next week, guys. Six o'clock on Tuesday. Yeah.